Two. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm here with Will Ferrell. Great yeah, where, to meet where, you. Where Will. are we? We're in, we're in we're an, an office, office at Channel yeah. Ten. Yeah. There was some air conditioning issues. Yeah, that's right. There was a, there was a noise. You know, minus. So we moved into the common area, <laughs> where the really good sound is. Yeah. Yes. And there are people just yeah. sitting around at their uh -huh. desks. Yeah. Um, but we're here chatting and just catching right. up. Uh, so now, how long have you been in Australia for? I just want to. Uh, Check something. I mm -hmm. have been here since Sunday morning. Since has anyone force fed you Vegemite yet? No, <laughs> but but some but um, Catherine who does my hair and makeup. Yeah, uh, and she does she does a magnificent thank job you, too. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Um, she has she has told me she was gonna gonna make me a proper toast with Vegemite that because oh, I've right. had it before and it. Yeah. It's a little strong. Yeah. yeah. It's a little salty. Well, well yeah. what was the quote? This is the highest praise it's ever received from right. an international guest. Bear Grylls said it's a step up from goat's testicles. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be that harsh on it. I, I could, I can stomach Vegemite. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I don't know if I've had, I've had it properly prepared for me. You need, the trick with Vegemite is to have very little. Oh, it's just a you little can, bit. You just see it. You yeah. can definitely taste it. Okay. Yeah. So that's why, because I was told to, uh, it should be as thick as your finger. No, when no, you spread, no, yeah. no, no. Cake it on. No, like, no, you, I didn't. Use, you use like a trowel for <laughs> cement and just, like icing. You yeah, do like, like cake icing. icing. Yeah, that's what and I was put told. put it on a cake. <laughs> and you take one bite. Yeah, that's and it. And then drink a, uh, a liter of water. <laughs> yeah. Wait an hour and then take another bite. Yeah, yeah that's, so. That's what, you got it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. That's how we do it in Australia. What about, has anyone, has anyone made you hug a koala yet? These nope. are the, these are no, the standard no, no. things that happen when nope. people visit. Um, no. I have yet to. No, I haven't even seen a koala. Even even usually seen they're usually they're running through the streets of Sydney. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they are. Feral, <laughs> rabid koalas. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. With the kangaroos. Right. Uh, but yeah, I haven't seen any <laughs> traditional Australian wildlife. Yet. Right. Okay. Nice. How's your? Because uh, you, you've done some great impressions over the years. Have you? Uh, have you developed a decent Aussie accent? Yeah. Um, I can do certain words. If I hear someone, I can kind of mimic them. I mean, I've really, uh, I've noticed in watching the Olympic coverage out here that yeah. a lot of your guys' teams have nicknames. Yeah. So, um, so I've enjoyed watching the, uh, the Opals. <laughs> yes. And the, uh, the Stingers. Yeah, the Stingers. Yeah. yeah. And the... Uh, Kookaburras. Kookaburras. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, those kind of words I can kind of get down, but... Yeah, yeah. And the boomers? The yeah. boomers. Who, who are the boomers? And basketball. Men's or women's? Men's. Right, because the women are, are the Opals. Uh, the Opals. Yeah, the women okay. are the Opals. Right. Yeah, the nice. Yeah. Are, you loving, are you loving the Olympics? The U.S. are I killing do. it I again. Like, I like, uh, uh, Olympics are great. It's one of those things where you, every four years, you say, oh, the Olympics, I don't even know if I'm going to watch it. And yeah. then you get swept up by it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there an event that, because uh, you know you become an instant expert in an event. Like, it's diving for me. Like I get super critical on the diving okay, right. after I've watched it for two right. minutes. Right. Is there a sport that sucks you right in and you become an expert straight away? Um, I've missed the synchronized diving. Diving. Yeah. I've heard that that's fun to watch. Uh, uh, I'm try I, What I'm drawn to is a uh, uh, women's hammer throw. Women's hammer throw. Yeah. A good strong woman. Good strong woman throwing. <laughs> what's called a hammer. <laughs> yeah. That's actually not a hammer. That's not a hammer at all. It's just. It's a, a big, heavy thing on the end of a chain. It's a shot put on a chain. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's exciting to me. It's basically what it is. Yeah. Now, we should uh, get down to the campaign. The movie's hilarious. Thank uh, you. Absolutely loved it. Saw it uh, last week. Now, you've just met, before we talk about the film specifically, our Prime Minister, Julia Gillard. I, yeah, I just uh, uh, had a little chat with her. I got to ask her some questions. Yeah, what did you what did you ask I think her about? She was horrified. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was thinking to herself, "Why did I agree to do this show?" Uh, I asked her because uh, I I'd heard that her uh, her partner's a hairstylist. That's hair correct. Yeah, yeah, and that I've been suffering from horrible split ends. And yeah. what would she advise me to do? And she she had a great answer. She yeah. had some good advice yeah. for you, right? Seek a salon professional. <laughs> <laughs> get some <laughs> some top quality hair products, right. and uh, and that was my that was my big that was my hard hitting journalistic question. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you nailed it. I was watching in the green room. Oh, okay. It was yeah. okay. You yeah. nailed it. It yeah. was good. Now you've uh, played hilariously and you're very well known for your George W. Bush impression. Right. Uh, have you ever got to meet George W.? I met him uh, once. Yeah. In passing. Before he was president, 
So right. he was running against Al Gore in the first election. Okay. And uh, I had just started playing him on Saturday Night Live, and he was uh, he was in our studio doing a, a pre-tape for a political show we were doing. Yeah. And they had called me in my apartment and said, can you hurry down to the studio? You know, Governor Bush is here. That He's a huge fan. <laughs> huge. Right. And, uh, and loved, were, you do, loved... were you doing the impression at this time? I was. Yeah. And then uh, I got, you know, he was there and he was, you know, the press pool is just massive, you know, for the yeah. candidates. And, and so no one was really introducing me to They were like, just go up and say hi. I'm like, all right. And so I go up <laughs> and I can tell that he has no idea that I'm the guy who plays him. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It was totally awkward meeting. <laughs> and, uh, and that was our one encounter. Yeah. And then that was yeah. it. Yeah. So we never come, he never... Did you invite him to see the farewell tour that you did as George W. after he no, left office? No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't invite him, and he, you know, he he would never come to New York. He's, he was not so well liked in New York. So, uh, uh, no, I was a, I was like afraid. God, what if he shows up and he's just out in the audience and it would throw me completely? But did you see other political figures in the crowd while you were doing the show? I, uh, there were. There were a few. There weren't as many as I thought. No, it was mostly, you know, I would look out and, in fact, I had to stop looking into the audience because right. I would just keep seeing random famous people. I'd, <laughs> I'd look right into the eyes of Barbara Walters. Or uh, one time I'm doing this one part and I was like, God, that guy looks like Sting with a beard and a fisherman sweater. I'm like, that's funny, huh? And I almost, because there was an improvised part at the end of the show yeah, where yeah. I gave everyone nicknames and I, yeah. I almost was like, Look at this guy over here. Looks like Sting in a fisherman's sweater, and uh, <laughs> but I didn't. And uh, and then sure enough, that night backstage, here comes Sting with his beard. It was it was him <laughs> sitting there. Sweater. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so it was it was it was just a lot of people uh, from all different walks of celebrity life would yeah. come see the show. Yeah. yeah. And Barack Obama seems a pretty celebrity friendly president. Mm -hmm. Have you met him over the years? Uh, I've gotten to meet him. I just met him recently because I uh, received this comedy award in DC and he actually, they said the president wants to give it to you in the Oval Office, which was crazy. Yeah, so, right, yeah. cool. And uh, uh, yeah, so I, I met him there and I tried not to break anything. Uh, <laughs> um, I get the he feeling. Was cool. he's, a, he's a cool guy. He's like, he's kind of unflappable. He's as yeah. anti Bush as anyone could be. He's like yeah. calm, cool, and collected. And I get the feeling if he saw the campaign, the new film with you and Zach Galifianakis, yeah. I get the feeling he'd laugh. I think I so. I get the feeling he'd laugh yeah. a lot. Yeah. Uh, but I think, you film. know, Bush probably would too. He, he's, yeah. he had, the, from what I heard, he's got like a great sense of humor. So, um, but yeah, Obama would probably think what we did was pretty funny. <laughs> now there's a bit, uh, there's a bit in the film where Zach Galifianakis' uh, character is talking to his kids. And right, he says, yes. I'm about to run. Is there anything, and any we, dirt anyone needs need to, to tell confess. me? Yeah, it's a which fantastic is scene. hilarious. Yes. If you were to run for office, is there, are there patches of dirt in Will uh, Ferrell's life uh, hmm. that you'd, you'd be worried about? You know, uh, I, I was about to say I've been known to wear a Speedo on occasion, but <laughs> apparently that's not that big a deal here. <laughs> well, Tony Evans, yeah, who's the opposition it. leader, he loves it. He yeah. loves a Speedo. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Are you comfortable in, in a speedo? I am. I um. I shouldn't be. Yeah. With my body, but I am. Yeah. <laughs> just feels right. <laughs> just feels right. Yeah. 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 You, you, you know, just feels natural. Yeah. 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 And uh, now there's a hilarious scene in the film with a baby. Uh, I won't give right. too much away. Right. 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 Uh, but did it require a stunt baby? Uh, in the film, were there worried parents That's in the wings? One of the perks of getting to shoot a movie in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> really lacks child labor laws. So <laughs> that's one of the benefits. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, no, it was actually an adorable little baby. They're twins. Like they, a lot of times they're twins, so you can. <laughs> so you can, can use them all day. Can, yes, exactly. <laughs> right. And, like the uh, Olsen twins. In but here's the funny thing we're doing this thing where I'm. <laughs> I'm pun and the baby kept laughing. <laughs> as you're taking a swing, yeah, the baby's laughing. Yeah, I'm taking a swing, the baby's laughing in my face. It's uh, like taunting you. Taunting, yeah. <laughs> and so, 
on one of the takes, I literally punched the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Will Ferrell, the campaign is absolutely hilarious. Oh, thank I you. recommend everyone go and see it. It's brilliant. You and Zach Galifianakis yeah, absolutely fine. nail it. Uh, thank you very much for your thank time you, tonight. Sir. Yeah. Much appreciated. All right. Thanks for coming to the Channel 10 offices. <laughs> <laughs> yes.